Taylor Swift's BFF, Blake Lively, is getting the backlash of her life as many past and hidden secrets of her meanness are exposed. Taylor, however, has remained silent throughout the controversy, fearing that defending Blake could risk exposing her own past and jeopardizing the billion dollar empire she's built over the years. Firstly, to understand why Blake needs Taylor's support, let's talk about their close relationship. The exciting fact about Taylor is that she isn't just Blake's best friend, but Ryan's as well, and she's the godmother to their children. And their friendship started with a bit of drama. It started from what Taylor's fans thought was a shade at the singer, which means they believed Blake was being mean until she clarified. Their origin story is dramatic, which gets even crazier as we dive deep into how their friendship has evolved and hurt others. It started in September 2015 when Blake posted a picture with other celebrities for a fashion brand campaign. In her caption, she referenced Taylor Swift's hit song, Bad Blood, by asking John Legend to cover the song. The Swifties didn't take this lightly at all. They speculated that Blake was shading Taylor and she had to come out to straighten the allegations immediately. This is one of the few times the actress has defended herself and goes to show how important Taylor is to her. In her defense, the actress claimed she was obsessed with a caption that reads, um, whoever thought I was throwing shade doesn't know I have a Taylor Swift please be my wife voodoo doll. However, in December 2015, Blake and Taylor met in Australia to hang out. That was how this close friendship between the two celebrities kicked off as they began to see each other even more frequently. In July 2016, Ryan and Blake showed up to support Taylor's 4th of July party and even appeared in a group couple photo with Taylor, who was cozying up to her boyfriend, Tom Hiddleston at the time. Despite being busy with kids and businesses, Blake and Ryan rarely miss parties thrown by Taylor. They were both present for Taylor's 2019 fun costume party where they were dressed like their childhood heroes. In the same year, Ryan and Blake were in attendance for Taylor's 30th birthday and were seen sharing a kiss in the group picture shared by Taylor on Instagram. Aside from being such great friends to Blake and Ryan, Taylor is also a wonderful godmother to the kids, which has been very obvious over the years. In one of Taylor's songs, Gorgeous, Blake and Ryan's daughter James said the word gorgeous at the beginning of the song. Gorgeous. Then, in her folklore album, she featured the kids again by mentioning their names. In the song Betty, Taylor featured the names of their daughters James, Inez, and Betty before giving a shout out to the couple in her speech after winning a Grammy for the album of the year in 2021. However, for the longest time, Blake and Ryan's kids didn't know their aunt Taylor was quite famous until they saw it for themselves. Blake has also worked professionally with Taylor by directing the music video of I Bet You Think About Me, the actress also fought to feature Taylor's My Tears Ricochet in It Ends With Us at a critical moment when she decides to move out and her mother is helping her arrange the crib. Blake mentioned she had to beg to get Taylor's music in the movie because the budget was nothing to write home about. They have an extraordinary relationship, as Taylor is more than just friends to Blake and Ryan and their children. Ryan himself hinted at how highly the family regards Taylor when asked if the singer would appear in Deadpool. He said, are you kidding me? I would do anything for that woman. She's a genius. While speaking about Taylor's album, Midnights, Ryan revealed that everyone in the house is obsessed with Taylor and her music. However, it becomes wild knowing that Taylor is friends with two people who don't agree with each other. Taylor is a celebrity with many friends. And while Blake is a close friend of Taylor, Selena Gomez is another friend of Taylor. And these two never mix. Selena, Taylor's best friend since 2008 before Blake came into the picture, hangs out less with her because she's now close to Blake. A source close to Taylor revealed that Selena and Blake both serve different purposes in Taylor's life. Further revelations suggest that there's bad blood between Selena and Blake and they make sure not to cross paths while meeting with Taylor. To understand how carefully they avoid each other, Selena and Taylor were out to celebrate her birthday over a dinner in New York City on December 12th, 2020 even though it wasn't her birthday yet. Selena was absent the next day, which marked Taylor's 34th and big birthday party, but Blake was fully present, and that means Selena intentionally decided to celebrate with Taylor a day earlier than her birthday so as not to cross paths with Blake at the birthday party, which followed the next day. Also, Selena is a big 
football fan, and fans were shocked that she wasn't in attendance with Taylor to support her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, after a fan page on Instagram shared a picture of Taylor with her friends. Still, Selena replied to the post with a crying emoji and a red heart. In some instances, they've managed to be at the same event together to support Taylor, but Selena and Blake still maintain their distance and ensure they don't meet. During the Saturday Night Live in 2021, Taylor shared a video of Selena with her in the dressing room, and Selena watched her perform from backstage. Blake and Ryan were also in attendance, but were pictured at the after party, which Selena didn't attend. But the insane thing is, there's no origin story to explain how Blake and Selena are so far apart, despite having the same best friend, except that they don't just get along. Selena only mentioned Blake once in 2016, when asked about the actress for a beauty piece. She replied, I wish she were my friend, but she's not my friend. Blake Lively. I've never met her, but I love her hair. I think she's got beautiful, effortless hair. I think she's super beachy. Blake and Taylor go so well together because they socialize similarly and like to have a good laugh, which they do with their witty and elaborate jokes. But that's not the only thing these besties have in common, as Taylor is also entangled in many past and hidden controversies similar to what Blake is going through with the media. According to popular commentator Candace Owens, Taylor and Blake use toxic feminism to get what they want, which has always worked for them. Taylor also utilizes her passionate fans in her battles, which she did in her fight with Scooter Braun in 2019 after Scooter acquired Big Machine Records, where Taylor recorded her first six albums. Taylor left the management before Scooter bought it, meaning Scooter now had the rights to most of her works. Then, Taylor took to Tumblr to address her fans that she was being punished by these men for being a little girl and called them to action to let the men know their grievances over the issue because all she wanted was to be able to play her music and connect with her fans. The twist to this story is that her dad owned 3% of Big Machine Records before it was sold, which means he was well aware that her rights to the music were being transferred. Allegedly, Taylor's dad made $15 million from the sale of the company. According to Taylor, she didn't know the company was getting sold, which didn't give her a chance to buy her master, but the previous owner, Scott Borchetta, revealed legal paperwork that showed Taylor was lying. Also, Taylor has a terrible history with the new owner, where she revealed that Scooter consistently antagonizes her by using people like Justin Bieber and Kanye West to go against her and leak sensitive information about her work. For Taylor, it would have been better if the masters of her six albums ended with someone other than Scooter, which she called the worst case scenario and a nightmare. So Taylor doesn't feel guilty riling up her fans to attack Scooter and they threaten to get rid of him and his children, eventually leading Scooter to regret how he handled the acquisition publicly. Over the years, Taylor has continued to be involved in controversies about plagiarism, lawsuits, and stealing creative ideas surrounding some of her works, like Shake It Off, her albums Lover, and Folklore. She was also penned as the worst celebrity regarding private jet CO2 air pollution. She also had a major feud with Katy Perry, and many people believe her hit track, Bad Blood, is about Katie. Although they were close friends, they started to fall out in 2013 after Katie began to date Taylor's ex, John Mayer, among other things. Katie and a few other celebrities view Taylor as the ultimate mean girl, even calling her a wolf in sheep's clothing. And Blake has also been called out for being the same, which is why they are excellent friends. Taylor Swift and Blake Lively like to come across as feminists and girls' girls to prove they are nice, but many reports point out that they are only trying to cover up their meanness by pretense. Their collective meanness was apparent when Blake wore the Balenciaga shoe trouser combo to the Super Bowl with Taylor, despite the recent and concerning controversy involving children surrounding the fashion brand. Blake has been mentioned as the reason people get fired on set due to her influence as a Nepo baby. And with this recent drama, Blake has been looking up to Taylor for help. A source close to them said, Blake has been relying on Taylor to get her through this storm in the same way that she relied on her every step of the way during the filming of It Ends With Us. Taylor knows how to handle backlash better than anyone, but the singer has refused to comment, knowing that could bring out a lot of mess regarding her past, like what it's currently doing for Blake. 